After speaking at a high school recently, a young man came up to me and he said, you know, I agree you shouldn't sleep with people you don't really care about. But he said, you know, as for me, my girlfriend and I, he says, you know, I think it's okay because I really love this girl. He said, you know, if someone were to come up to my girlfriend and hold a gun to her head and threaten to shoot her, he said, I would jump in her place and I would say, shoot me instead. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, I, I'd die for this girl. And so I said, well, then go on ahead. Do it. Die for her. And he looked a bit puzzled at what I had to say. And I said, let's, you know, realistically, I said, that desire that God has placed upon your heart to give your life as a sacrifice for this girl you care about, that's a good desire. It's noble. It's something good. But realistically, your girlfriend, unless she's involved with organized crime, probably isn't going to be held at gunpoint anytime soon. She doesn't need you to protect her from the mafia. She needs you to protect her from yourself the desires you have, the lust, not to protect simply her body, but also to protect her soul. The intentions you have are good, but in reality, intentions in life are not good enough. If you were sick and you needed an operation, and you were on the operation table, and I came in dressed as a surgeon, and, and you looked at me and you said, Doc, is the surgery going to go okay? And I said, you will. You know, I'm not a doctor. In fact, I've never been to med school. I don't really know how to do an operation, but I'm really sincere. I want to give you this open heart surgery very effectively. You would jump off the table. My good intentions and sincerity are not good enough when it comes to taking care of your body. So when it comes to the spiritual realities on earth, to understand that good intentions of wanting to love your boyfriend and girlfriend, they're good. They're only the start of love. We must have our love and our conscience shaped and formed by authentic truth. So that way we're not simply loving the person by what feels good, we're objectively doing what is best for their souls. So form your intellect according to the truth of God's love, and by doing so, you will reflect the very love of God on earth. Stay strong, and in the meantime, be assured of my prayers. God bless.